live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering NetApp Insight 2017. Brought to you by NetApp. Okay, welcome back everyone. Live here in Las Vegas at the Mandalay Bay Convention Center. It's theCUBE's exclusive coverage of NetApp's Insight 2017. I'm John Furrier, co-founder of SiliconANGLE Media and co-host of theCUBE with Keith Townsend, my co-host all day today, going to seven o'clock here with NetApp Insight. Um, we have a special segment. We had an opening in the segment, so we're going to talk about communities. In light of the tragedy in Vegas that happened really on the doorstep of the NetApp event, and they've handled it with great class uh, and respect, uh, the show must go on, as they say, as the community comes together. We wanted to have a segment on communities and the role of communities. Um, this is something that, as you know, if the Cube, you know it's a real passion for us, the role of the community, and as well as Keith. It's important to know who your peers are, and your peeps, or whatever you want to say, and that's important, because if you look at the society today, it's, it needs to change. And, and I don't want to rehash our intro on our thoughts on the massacre, but you know, the key trends that are happening in blockchain, for instance, really highlight something that, that mm -hmm. I want to talk about, and that is know your customer and anti-money laundering. Not that anti-money laundering has anything to do with communities, it speaks to the new culture of anonymous. A lot of the underbelly and future trends are around Bitcoin and blockchain, and that's great for anonymous transactions, of which the outcome is money laundering. So there's two major trends in blockchain, anti-money laundering, know your customer. Right. This is about communities, and all the success in this cryptocurrency is about communities. The success in the enterprise, we believe, and B2B marketing, and, and in general, right in society is know who your neighbor is, know who your community right. is, know who your peers are, right. because we have to be aware of each other, because right. if we see a crazy guy, we right. have to report it. That's right. You know? So, community, role of community is going to be instrumental. Anna, Annalisa Carmelo, is the, Carmelo is with the NetApp team, you're in the community business, you're in the content business, content communities go hand in hand. Thanks for coming on theCUBE. Of course, and thank you for having me. So I've thought about content for a really long time. One of the things that comes to mind that I explain to my family is really that I'm thankful to be living in this era where content is sort of becoming democratized, right? Where we've given people, communities, the ability to talk, the ability to communicate whatever's on their mind. And in your case, as you were just saying, when there's accidents that have happened, when there's tragedies and things like that that take place, they now have, are equipped with the tools to be able to communicate, to be able to do something about that, which has changed the way content is now seen, right? Um, one of the other things that I hear a lot is content is king. Um, and the way that I see that is I don't think content is king, I think customers are king, audiences are king, I think context is queen, and then I think content is just the result of what we've done as a society to now allow the microphone to be given to the communities, right? Let them share their perspective. And content is data, too. So you bring up context. Context is queen, I love that, I haven't heard that before. But content can come out of engagement, new right. content. If you look at right. the fake news and all the critique out there, the Russians, they didn't really hack the election. They took advantage of Facebook, which is not a real context. They don't do original news. They are, they're a data platform for people to hook up with people in high school right. and get connections. So original right. content and communities right. also provide data because That's if, right. if we're con contributing content and people right. applause, right. okay, which Medium has that new feature, which I love, and then you know right. it's good if it, no one collapsed, and then, then it fell what? flat, so exactly. that's, that's data. Exactly. And so you start to see this, how the world's changing with the data. My son said to me yesterday, he says, Dad, you're from the generation that uses search engines. <laughs> you actually type keywords into a browser <laughs> to go through results and sift through things? And he's got right. a good point. Right. The world is changing how people discover organically through peers and relationships. Right. There'll always be batch marketing, I call it. Search, right. email marketing, funneling. But right. users know that what that means. They're walking on the lot to, to buy a car. They get, right. they get jammed up. But now they want to just talk to their friends. Hey, what do you think? How do you make sense yeah. of what happened or what's right. happening? Who's involved? What does it mean to me? Right. So my son, who's 10 years old, um, he actually only uses voice assistance for all of his searching of content. He texts, he does not text anything. He does not you know, type something into a search engine. He talks to his phone. And so if he wants to find the latest, fastest exotic cars, as an example, because he loves exotic cars, he'll ask for it on his phone. So voice assistance, 
uh, digital assistants, all of those types of technologies that have now been brought to market are going to be the new ways that audiences and communities engage with content, right? And so the interesting thing is that if he's interested in knowing what is going on in the world, if he's interested in knowing what's going on in the neighborhood, he talks to his phone. So he avoids advertisements, he avoids information that maybe. They have ad blocker on all their browsers. I mean, they're like, exactly. ads are dead. The, the but days what does that mean? are so what does different. What does that mean for NetApp? This just gets back down to my, my um, view on B2B marketing. I think the batch stays around, but this real time thing is organic, it's yeah. community based. So exactly. the role of the communities are going to be more important than ever, because I said on the intro, their monologue, know your customer right. is a part of right. things like a blockchain, banks right. do it for money, uh, fraud. We should know our people and our communities. Right. <laughs> and it right. changes how we engage. And right. not just what, right. what is that NetApp's customer? That, that is yeah. it's broadening, you have to serve your traditional storage admin and then you're broadening now to a new customer. Right. What does that mean about the types of content you guys create and where you, where you place that content? It means we get to have a lot of fun. It <laughs> means, to be honest, so I'm not a marketer by academic background. Um, but the marketing that I'm now doing and that I'm participating in is one that I love. And I love it because it's now more about human behavior. Um, it is about telling stories. It is about bringing journalistic value to content. Just telling the story, right? Um, and so our audiences now get to interact with content that I think is more direct, that I think is truthful, that I think is transparent. And it's all of those kinds of attributes that I think technology has helped break through, right? Because I, I appreciate being able to choose what I consume. Um, and I think choosing what, our customers choosing what they consume, a lot of it is going to be driven by data and the way that we use information to tell, to teach every marketer who the audience is and what they actually want to know. So data analytics and marketing in particular is really big at NetApp right now, and so we're paying a lot of attention to prescribing content to the reader and being more of a reader advocate than being a company who's focused on selling and selling products and pushing products, but really understanding what is at the heart of our customers' needs, using the information we have on who they are and what they want, um, and delivering that, and only that, right? And letting them interact and go on the journey with NetApp in the way that they choose to do it. Um, and so I think that that's, that's exciting. Uh, in my opinion, that's the kind of content I want to write. That's the kind of content that every marketer is going to have fun with. Right? The day and age where now I am free, I'm free to tweet what I want to tweet and share it with my tweet friends and I get to knowledge share, I get to communicate with them in real time. And so a lot of those things I think are very exciting about the new era for marketing and the and new the B2B era B2B marketing content. opportunity too for your customers if they want to be collaborating, because they're in a discovery. Right. The old right. way was discovering was like I said, search. Right. You navigate to a web page or a landing page or whatever. Now it's conversational. Right, exactly. Yeah. Real time. So storytelling and attention is one thing, but if you do too much attention, right. people are like, right. I want value. That's true. I want That's content very true. value. That's very true. You don't want to be over scripted. Yeah. And you want to just let things happen organically. And so organic experiences, I think, is another thing that we've talked a lot about. Take this event as an example. We let our heart lead, we put our best foot forward, and everybody is, is really rallying around that, right? Our customers really just want to know that we're a company with heart, and that we pay attention, and we're listening, and we're aware of what's happening around us, and that's the kind of content they want. And, and you guys are great, thanks for working with us. We appreciate the opportunity to come here, and thanks for sponsoring Thank you for the Cube. Me. We believe that events are no longer one and done on digital, it's right. ongoing and right. uh, certainly events do happen and we will constantly be working with the community. Fantastic. Community model, the Cube. That's our passion here at the NetApp Insight 2017. I'm John Furrier, stay tuned for more coverage here live at the Mandalay Bay after this short break. Digital transformation.